Hi, welcome back to the workshop. I was going to talk about the custom auto sound radio I have today. Um, I did a video on it a little while ago. Uh, I just bench tested it, hooked it up to the speakers. It sounded nice. Um, it is made for a Buick. It's got the Buick faceplate on it. It fits the dash dimensionally. Like these posts are the right distance apart. You can actually adjust them a little bit. The face fits through the opening. Here's the old one. You can see they're they're very similar. Um, the only problem I'm having, and these are universal, I understand that. Uh, and most most of the 60s cars, these are made for and 50s cars. I think the faces of the dash are flat, right? So they give you a face plate and it fits perfectly and you're done. But with this radio and the dash in the Buick, it's got like a curve to it. And the face of the radio here matches that curve. So what I did, I'm getting into 3D printing. I mentioned it in one of my last videos. I'm learning how to do it and learning CAD design. I printed a custom face for the custom auto sound radio that matches the contour of the original. So this face here goes up against the dash and you can see there's a lip there that runs along the whole outside. There it is. That's this dimension here. So that fits into the dash opening and then this fits over the face plate that they give you. Um, the dash plate that comes with it is just a flat square uh, rectangular little plate and it doesn't match the contour of the dash. So you can't get the radio perfectly flat and it wants to like tilt backwards and not sit right in the opening. But that uh, piece so kind of solves that problem. I have one of my test pieces in gray. I'll show you how it fits in the car. Okay, so here we are at the dash. This is where the radio goes. And if you look along the dash, you can see that curve. And you can imagine a flat radio face is gonna kind of give you problems. It, it, um, it, it would mount, but it didn't look great, right? It looked, it looked partially complete. It looked very amateur. I'm not a professional, but I didn't like it, and it was an opportunity for, me, opportunity for me to learn more about 3D printing. So I printed up one of these pieces, and they fit exactly where the old radio was supposed to fit. You've got the, the lip that matches the depth of the dash, and now the radio can slide in perfectly straight and fit properly. So there it is. Um, I'll be using the black piece. I just have the gray one here for illustration. I tried doing a little raised wildcat letters, but those didn't come out great. I may try that again, but I may just leave it blank. Um, but yeah, there you go. So if anybody out there has a 66 wildcat, I think maybe LeSabre has the same contour. I'm not exactly sure, but send me a message. I can print you up one of these. Uh, you can buy it for me, buy it from me for uh pretty cheap. I'm not going to charge a lot. Maybe I'll charge you 10 bucks and a little bit for shipping just to kind of pay for my work, help pay for my uh, 3d printing supplies. But there you go. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff you can do with 3d printers. All right. Until next time, I'll show you another video once it's installed and working. Hopefully it'll be great. Thank you. Bye.